Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Ian, I'm Ian the Reader, and today I am back with the TBR video. It's the first time I've done a solo TBR video in a few months. I've been doing like my wrap ups and TBRs together, but I have a good reason this time because not only in July am I reading a bunch of fun books, I'm participating in the Indie Accords Readathon and I am super excited about it. So if you don't know, the Indie Accords Readathon is an amazing readathon that is going on throughout the entire month of July in which readers just focus on reading independently published or self published books. I I've been hearing about this for a few weeks now. A lot of my uh, booktuber friends have been making their TBR videos and things like that. And I was tempted to do it, but then I actually like hit a reading slump a little bit last week and I just wasn't sure what I wanted to read and everyone was getting me so excited about all these self pub books. And so I was like, you know what? Screw it, let's just forget about all the other books that I was supposed to read and let's really do this. So today I have a really exciting TBR to discuss with you guys, almost entirely self-pub books. I am so excited. A lot of these books I've been wanting to read for months or even years, but I keep putting off and now is the perfect time to read it. I am so excited. And also hashtag go team dark nights because we're totally gonna win. Before we get into the rest of the video, it would mean the world to me if you would like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm also going to be tagging a lot of booktubers in this video just because because I am pretty new to the whole self-pub world of reading, but I'm really excited to get deeper into it. That being said, I have a lot of friends here on booktube who have such great reading tastes, who have read so many self-published books, whether they be fantasy or horror or mystery thriller or science fiction or what have you, and they have really great recommendations. So I'm gonna go ahead and link a few of my favorite channels down below for some great self-pub reading recommendations. So let's go ahead and jump into the TBR. Before we get to the Indie Accords books that I'm planning on reading, I do wanna very briefly talk about the five books that I already had planned for July that I do need to continue reading anyway. So first off, we have the book that I'm currently reading and have been for a few weeks now. That is Black Mouth by Ronald Malfi. I've been really enjoying this horror book. If you've been keeping up with my weekly updates, then you know that I've been reading this over the month of June. Didn't plan on reading it at all this month or over the summer really, but I had an e-arc of it and it was calling to me. I've been really, really enjoying it. It's very much akin to like it in that you have characters um, who are adults now coming back to a town that they grew up in where they have dark memories memories um, and having to confront those and face this evil force but it's not like it at all in the execution uh, but I'm really enjoying myself with that I'm almost halfway through it so I will definitely be finishing this in July another horror book that I am planning on picking up in July is Mary by Nat Cassidy I'm super excited about this I have an audio arc of it I believe this book comes out on July 19th so I have a few weeks to read it but I'm super excited about reading this horror book it is my first exposure to Nat Cassidy as well so very excited I'm also participating in two read-alongs this month the first of those is of course for Speaking Bones by Ken Liu. I have been loving my time with the Dandelion Dynasty. It is just an amazing series and I've had such a blast hosting some read-alongs on my channel and doing live streams. We are set to finish up this series this month. I am excited, I am terrified, and uh, I'm really just ready to see what Ken Liu does with the final volume. And the other read-along that I am participating in is for Joyland by Stephen King. One of my friends on Instagram who is a huge Stephen King collector is hosting a read-along on there. I'll go ahead and link his page down below, but I'm super excited to be continuing on with another Stephen King book. This is another one that has been on my radar for a while, and I think it's in his like top 10 Stephen King books, so I'm super excited to see where it falls for me. And the last non-Indie Accords TBR book that I have is Middle March by George Eliot. My aunt and I are buddy reading this book over July and August. August, so I have the very least plan on starting this book in July. I will not finish it this month, but I'm going to go ahead and start it as well. Super excited about that. She has an Instagram account. I will link it down below if you'd like to go check it out. Okay, so now that those books are out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about my Indie Accords Readathon TBR. I am so excited about this, you guys. A little bit too excited because I got very much carried away in trying to decide what books that I wanted to read. Like, honestly, I think there were like 30 books on my initial TBR, which obviously is not going to work out. I did manage to finish 20 books last month, and I'm hoping to have have a very similar reading month this month but 30 books uh, is just not gonna happen. That being said, there are prompts or like challenges that are required, not required necessarily. I mean, the main focus of this challenge is just to read indie books. So I'm excited about doing that, but I am going to try to fill out this lovely bingo card right here. Yes, there are bingo card challenges. So I'm excited about that. Like I said, I had such a hard time picking my TBR that I actually did go ahead and pick out two books per square, which is fine because you can actually double up on the bingo if you choose to and get extra points uh, for your team. So I may do that or I may just, you know, fill it out once. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm just really excited about these books. So without further ado, let's talk about these by the challenges. 
So the first challenge is to read a host favorite. Now the hosts for this challenge had a lot of great recommendations on their host favorite lists. That being said, I did go ahead and select two that I'm definitely hoping to pick up at least one of them for. The first of those, I already have a physical copy of, that is Never Die by Rob J. Hayes. I don't remember whose recommendation this is, but a lot of people have recommended it to me over the years, which is why I do have a physical copy of it because I'm just super pumped about reading it. But I've heard nothing but good things. I, I say that, actually, I've heard a lot of good things about this one. I've heard that some of his other works are better, but I'm really excited about starting out my Rob J. Hayes journey with Never Die. And the other host recommendation that I'm super excited about was recommended by Lana, I believe, uh, but I know a lot of other booktubers have really enjoyed the series as well, so I'm excited to give it a try. That book is Nightfall by Daniel Barnett. This is a horror series. I think there might be like fantasy influence in there as well, but I know like its primary category is horror. So I love horror books. Obviously I have a lot of horror books on my regular TBR and on my India Chords TBR you'll see as well. But I really, really want to read this series. It's not very long either, so I should be able to fit it in. I'm very excited about reading Nightfall. Next challenge is read a book in a different format. So I really do like to read in all formats. I love audiobooks, ebooks, and physical books. But ever since I had kids, I'm going to be honest with you, physical books have not been as easily accessible to me. Not necessarily like accessible like I don't have them because I have a ton in the other room like it's bad but like I just can't physically hold a book in my hands while I'm holding an infant or what have you so it just hasn't been happening as much that being said I definitely do want to read some books physically so for this challenge I'm going to go ahead and put on my possible TBR Peace and Turmoil by Elliot Brooks I'm super excited about reading this book I've wanted to read it for a long time ever since I discovered her channel years ago actually I've wanted to read it but it's chunky. So I may read this, I may not. I at least want to read one really long indie book in this readathon. So it might be this one. I've heard a lot of really great things about it and I know that she is working on book two, so I would like to read it, but we'll see what happens. The other book that I may read for this challenge is Speaker of Myela by Trent Anthony. He was so kind as to send me this book a few months ago. It's actually been a while. I really do need to read this book. So this is gonna get read. This is gonna get read, but I'm really excited about this one. I've read, I think the first like 50 pages of it, uh, but I hit a reading slump when I was reading it at the time and I just haven't come back to it yet. So I really do wanna read this one. So I am hoping to fit it in for this challenge. Next up, we have read a book with less than 200 ratings on Goodreads. I believe that was what the consensus was. Some people were asking if it was Amazon, but I'm pretty sure that it's on Goodreads. So the first one that I have of these is a book that I heard about from Leslie, the Nerdy Narratives channel. I'll obviously link her channel down below as well. Um, and that book is In the Hills of Above the Grist Mill by Calvin Ellis. This is a horror, like mystery thriller book that I really enjoyed hearing uh, Leslie's thoughts on in her review, both on Goodreads and on YouTube. It just sounds right up my alley. I'm really wanting to read like an indie mystery thriller. I haven't read any of those. So this seems like a really great fit. Um, and so I'm definitely hoping to read this one in the readathon. And then the other book that I'm hoping to pick up for this challenge possibly is Dark Lines by Jack Harding. This is a person who I follow on Instagram. I've been following him for a while. His books have this really cool aesthetic. As you can see, like it looks really worn down, but it's not. Uh, but I've been really wanting to read his horror anthologies. He has, I believe, two short story collections. I'm pretty sure, um, but I haven't read any of his works yet. So this sounds like a really great opportunity to read this book and I'm definitely hoping to pick it up. Next challenge is read an author from a different country. My two selections for this are Rob J. Hayes again with this time Along the Razor's Edge. Although I may put Never Die in this challenge if I do choose to read the other one for the other challenge. But I've I've heard a lot of good things, especially lately about Along the Razor's Edge. Um, I've heard people love the main character, that they love the plot, that it's super fast paced, um, and it just sounds really great. Like I said, I'm super excited to read Rob J. Hayes' books, so I would definitely like to read either Never Die or Along the Razor's Edge. And Rob J. Hayes is from the UK, I'm from the US, so it works for this challenge. And the other book that I have for this category is called The Flaw in All Magic by Ben S. Dobson. So this book came onto my radar a little while ago because I was looking for like Dresden Files ebooks that are not Dresden Files and this is a series of I believe six books maybe I'm wrong and I'm thinking of a different one but there are at least a couple books in this series this is kind of like a gas lamp mystery fantasy and uh, I'm here for it. you've got the buddy cop kind of angle going for you you've got magic and mystery and detectives and it just sounds fantastic I definitely do plan on reading this book at some point if not this month though because I have the audiobook on Hoopla it's a pretty quick one as well so I definitely hope to read it soon next challenge is read a book with 
a black, white, blue, or red cover. So this is a really easy one, which I'm totally fine with because it helps me fit in some other books that I'm really interested in reading. The first book that I've selected for this is Cradle by Will White. That's right. Or actually, I believe the first book is called Unsold. Uh, but that's right. I am finally starting the Cradle series. I'm super excited about it. I've wanted to read this book for so long, and I've heard so many good things, not only about the first book, because I've heard it like kind of changes after the first three books, but about the whole series. And I know book, I think 11 is coming out on the fifth. Uh, so maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is coming out on the fifth. But either way, I'm super excited about reading these books. The other book I have selected for this challenge is The Seventh Cadence by Jim Wilborn. He has a booktube channel. I'll go ahead and link it down below. But this book sounds really amazing. I didn't know he was an author when I became friends with him and started buddy reading another book um, on Discord. But I did find out, and I love this cover, and the blue is obviously very prominent. I really, really want to read this book. I don't currently have a physical copy or audio or ebook, but I may have to pick that up just for this challenge. Either way, I definitely plan on reading this very soon. Next challenge is read a book for the cover, which which obviously, you know, I'm gonna pick up a book for not just the cover, but at least a book with a cover that I really love. The first book that I've selected for this category is On Lavender Tides by Travis M. Riddle. And I've actually already started this book. I'm super enjoying it so far. This is a Pokemon inspired fantasy story. And uh, I mean, what more could you want? <laughs> I'm super excited about it. It's a lot of fun so far. And that's all I'm really here for. You know, I don't think that it's like a high stakes fantasy by any means. I'm just here to have a good time and I'm definitely having it. And the other book that I've selected for this category is Paternus Book One by Dirk Ashton. I've been really wanting to read this fantasy trilogy ever since I saw Patrick Leo mention it in his like favorite urban fantasy series or maybe like favorite urban fantasy books. I can't remember what exactly the video was, but he gave this a glowing review and I've been wanting to read it ever since because I really want to get into more urban fantasy and uh, this seems like a great time, especially because Audible actually had the whole trilogy as one audiobook. Like you can literally get all three books for one credit on Audible right now. So go do it. What are you waiting for? The second to last challenge is Five Star Prediction. And I could definitely put a lot of books on this challenge. And like I said, I'm not going to read all of these books, but I definitely want to. And for this challenge specifically, I've chosen the books Illborn by Daniel T. Jackson. Man, this book has been on my radar for like really since it came out like over a year ago. Um, but then it really like got spiked up. Well, first because I followed the author on Instagram and he's really great. He makes a lot of really great fantasy book posts. And so I really enjoyed that. And I've been wanting to pick it up for that reason. But then a lot of my booktuber friends read this back in I think March. Um, and I just felt that fear of missing out. And so I know I have to read it. I have the ebook for it. I really wanna try. It's very long, so we'll see what happens because I have a lot of books to read this month, but I would really, really love to read Illborn by Daniel T. Jackson. And my other five-star prediction for this challenge is Stones of Light by Zach Argyle. I did a buddy read of this book over on Discord last month, or not this book, but the first book in this series, Voice of War, last month, and I'm going to be continuing on with this book this month, and next month the final book in the trilogy comes out, so I'm definitely gonna be reading that next month as well. Super loving this series, great magic system, great themes, great characters. It's great. It's great. It's great. And the final challenge is read a diverse book. The first book that I've selected for this category is Dark Apprentice by Val Neal. I've heard some really good things about this book and I know that it has disability representation, which I always want to read more of. So I'm super excited about that. And from the premise, it seems like the main character is definitely a bit of a morally gray character. So I'm always down for that as well. And the other book that I've selected for this category is Light Blade by Zamil Akhtar. I've heard really great things about this author's works. Not only this book, which just came out, I think last month, but also Gunmetal Gods by this author. And I actually don't know what the uh, diverse representation is in this book, but I saw a lot of people over on the Discord for this challenge add this to their TBR and I've been really wanting to read it. So I thought I would slide it in there as well, especially because Fina over at Fina Reads gave this a glowing recommendation. And so I definitely trust her opinions and I'm super excited to pick this up. And in case you thought that that wasn't enough indie books to have on your radar, I also have all of these books that I'm really interested in picking up and may pick up at some point this month. Like all the books that I put on the challenges are just to kind of check the box. But to be honest, I'm such a mood reader. I wanted to have a giant pool of books to pick from. So I have a lot of books on my radar. I'm super excited about a ton of these and we'll see what I actually end up reading. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope that you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what books you're hoping to pick up in July. Let me know if you're participating in this amazing readathon. And if so, what books you are excited to read. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.